Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for, uh, we're, it's supposed to be the 21st through the 28th, but it's the 22nd, so we're going to say the 22nd through the 28th. Do apologize for the delay. It seems like I've been running around like crazy. And so anyway, now it's time for your reading. You know, I have to do your readings when the time is right, you know, because I, I just do. I have to do it when, you know, I'm alone. Anyhow, um, so what do we have for Libra, Libra for the uh, eclipse energy or the week of, well, the 21st through the 28th or the 22nd through the 28th? I already did an eclipse reading what this eclipse is going to change for you. I'll tag it to the end. It's basically a six-month forecast. What do we have for Libra? Oh, well, I guess we'll take those, huh? Four of them. Handshake. A meeting with a stranger could be important. Bull. Could be dealing with a bull. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. So you're probably going to be dealing with some opposition. I mean, we are dealing with an eclipse energy during this week. You know? So I'm pretty sure you will be dealing with opposition. Everybody's going to. You probably maybe a little bit more than others. Kite vacation. I know that we have uh, Pluto going direct or Pluto being direct. That's a big deal. Older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman. This older woman is going to be very prominent during this time. Vacation. Somebody may be going on a vacation. Do not back down. And a meeting with a stranger could be important. Show strength and fortitude. You're going to have to show strength and fortitude. I do feel like somebody is going to be taking a vacation. Maybe you're planning a vacation. What do we have for Libra? Somebody's meeting up with a stranger. That's going to be important. At the right place, at the right time. So this is a destined situation. When you're at the right place, at the right time, that usually happens when there's something fated or destined that is playing out may have something to do with this handshake, may have something to do with this older woman, I don't know, could have something to do with a bull, which would be a Taurus. <clears throat> you don't know your value. I think you've had that one before, huh? 444, four, four. four is an angel number, all is well. There's universal guidance, angel guidance, spiritual guidance, spiritual assistance, angels around. Some sort of protection. All is well. Everything is going to be okay. So something is happening. There's some sort of universal guidance here for sure. This is an angel number. Ooh, infatuation and obsession. Somebody is infatuated and obsessed. Now, somebody could be, you know, infatuated or obsessed with you. You may be infatuated with somebody. This older woman may have something to do with this infatuation. May have something to do with an Aries or somebody that has Aries in their chart. This is Mars energy. So I think that there's something to do with Mars energy as well. I'm not an astrologer, but I think there's something. I don't know if it's Mars going retrograde. I don't know. But it's something to do with Mars energy as well. So there's definitely something going on with 
uh, change, universal change, universal guidance, um, at the right place at the right time, meeting with a stranger. What do we have for Libra? Let's get a couple of these. Maybe I should just bring these down and put those on top because I'm gonna put two more cards over there. Hair everywhere, no matter what I do. What do we have for Libra? Yes, that's one. Don't relinquish your power. Somebody may be trying to make you do something that you don't want to do. We do have do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Don't relinquish your power. I mean, that's a clear message. You are going to be facing some opposition. You may have to control. Take control. If you go back to that Aries card, Aries about, is about being in control. Controlling yourself. Taking charge. It's about order. You know, structure, stability, self-control. You're going to need some sort of self-control. That's what I believe. You're also probably going to need to defend yourself in some way. But you do that through self-control. That's, that's, it's kind of like mind power, okay? You have to control yourself to gain respect. People don't respect people that can't control their temper. You know, those people lose respect real fast. Okay, the people that, that fly off the handle and scream and holler and yell. I mean, you can, that kind of person is just like, <laughs> that person that doesn't gain any respect. So I guess what I'm trying to say is remain in self-control. You know, don't back down. You know, don't back down from this opposition, but control yourself. Do it in a tactful manner. Be tactful. Mm. Be of service. Be of service. There may be somebody that needs your help. Maybe you have the, the skills to help somebody or you have the knowledge to help somebody. This must be a time of, of giving. You are going to be dealing with somebody that is challenging. That is for sure. You're going to, you're going to need to control yourself in some way. That's what I got there. I used the uh, lint roller, but flying in the air, right? The hair. You don't know your value? We've definitely had that one before. There's angels assisting you. Somebody is infatuated. Control yourself. Don't give somebody your power. When you fly off the handle or you act aggressively, you're giving away your power. I guess that's a clear message. If you think about a bull, a bull doesn't get bad until they reach that point. I mean, a bull can take a lot. Very, very slow moving. You know, doesn't flip out until that very moment. Okay, right? Until the, I mean, to the very end. Usually under real control. Not going to do anything. Just going to watch. The steam's going to be rolling until somebody does the wrong thing. And then, it, then we got trouble. But I do believe that... You know, you need to really control yourself during this time. Don't lose control. Back to that Aries energy. Energy is all about, Aries is about self-control as well. Hmm, something about self-control. Four of Swords reversed, Two of Swords reversed. You've been in denial about a situation. Queen of Wands, Seven of Swords. 
Knight of Swords reverse. There is some sort of extremely aggressive energy. When you get, and it says, don't relinquish your power, these two cards go together. And the Knight of Swords energy could certainly be your energy. The Knight of Swords reverse is out of control. This is out of control. I mean, you can feel free to look it up. The Knight of Swords energy is somebody that it has so much energy inside, they can't control it. They burst. You could certainly be in a position that really pisses you off and could cause you to lose it. So I think that you're going to need to remember this reading and control your temper, control yourself. I also feel like there's somebody that is guiding you. I don't know if it's somebody that has passed away or somebody, a, a spirit guide or something like that. Uh, that is guiding you. We have the Queen of Wands underneath the 444. I mean, that could be a mother. It could be a sister. It could be a friend. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is some sort of angel guidance, you know, guidance from above. I feel like there is somebody here that is assisting you. Maybe you're not seeing it. Maybe you're not listening. There's some sort of blockage here. You're, maybe you don't know your value. I feel like you're definitely being divinely guided, I, but I think that you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it, and I don't know if you're ignoring it because of infatuation or obsession. Now, you could be dealing, this doesn't have to be you. You could be on the outside. This could be somebody in your circle, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's out of your control. It is definitely out of your control. Um, <sighs> Four of Swords reverse is a restless energy. It's very restless. There's been some sort of stagnation, time out, reflecting, healing from a loss. Um, the, the Two of Swords reverse is some sort of um, a need to open up, opening up, unblocking. Um, somebody may have been blocked. They may be unblocking themselves. Maybe there's been some sort of denial. This is coming out of denial. Some of you or somebody that you're dealing with has been waiting and praying for something. Something has, There's been some sort of pain. There's been some sort of suffering. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting. This is the waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting. And, and this is denial. And it's held back. I'm not going to accept the truth. There's indecision here. For some of you, I feel like there's been some sort of... Uh, I'm going to say ignoring something, waiting for something, ignoring the truth. You know, you have a couple of options, not sure which way to go. Um, there's been some sort of fear here, um, fear of the unknown. I think there's been, obviously been some sort of suffering, and I feel like there's been, because of that, this Four of Swords, you know, what comes before the Four of Swords is the Three of Swords, which is a painful separation. It's grieving over a loss. I feel like you've been blocked in some way because of this loss. And maybe you don't know your value because of this loss. Everything happens for a reason. You think about that 444, that's protect, protection. You know, it's angel protection. It's universal protection. I also feel like there is somebody that has passed away that is around you. And I feel like it's a fire sign. It's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this person wants you to move on. I feel like this person wants you to... Um, seven of swords underneath infatuation and obsession. I feel like this person wants you to not look back. You need to take a new approach. You need to keep walking. Okay. It's time for you to, uh, leave a situation and stop looking back. I feel like there, that, you know, you've, it's time. I want to say it's time. It, this is like the end of stagnation. I think that you, you've been healing from this loss. It's time to open up. It is time to open up. It's time to uh, take action per se. Find your confidence. Find your discipline. Find your willpower. Uh, go on a new adventure. Maybe, maybe it's time to take a vacation. Maybe it's time to do something that you have always been afraid to do. You know, you need to let go. You need to let go. You've been down long enough. It's time to get up. That's what I got to say. I feel like, I feel like uh, you do need to be careful as well because I feel like there may be somebody around you that doesn't have good intentions. And I, and I really got to say that because this is a be careful card. Okay, the seven of swords is be careful. Be careful that you, you know, are not making inappropriate decisions because of your previous pain, because of your previous hurt, okay? Make sure you are not ignoring opportunities because you have been so hurt. I feel like you have been hurt and I think you've been down long enough, okay? I think it's time for you to uh, take 
take a new approach, okay? I mean, that's the seven of swords. I feel like there's been some, we have a mental, you know, this is a mental manipulator. Okay, there's somebody here that is very skilled at lying. I mean, the seven of swords is a liar. This is a thief. This is a cheater. You know, this person could be coming around. I think that you do need to be careful. This is out of control, dangerous energy. Somebody could be doing something that is extremely dangerous. I mean, the Knight of Swords in reverse is, is an untrustworthy individual that is out of control, that has so much energy that they can't control themselves, you know. This could be somebody that is going somewhere very, very fast. They're not thinking. They don't even care who they hurt. They could get themselves into trouble. And it, I, I mean, for some of you, it could be you. Hmm. I think there's a need to slow down as well. I think that there's a need to slow down. I think that there's a need to... Uh, I want to say have faith, open up. Interesting, Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is a new spark. It's a sudden desire. It's a new drive. It's a new ambition. It's something coming to fruition. This is literally a new exciting opportunity. It's a new passion. It's, it's, it's a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. I feel like you have an opportunity here to start something new. Because this is a new start. It is a fresh start. It's a seed that has come to fruition, right? But I've, it's time. It's time for a new life, basically. Do not relinquish your power. That Knight of Swords reverses out of control, leads others into danger. It's a dangerous situation, a need to control yourself, a need to slow down, a need to think before you act. So this is there's something happening suddenly these are both very sudden energies now there could be a sudden departure there could be a sudden arrival there's been some sort of stagnation there's been some sort of delay we're about to have some movement something is coming to fruition that was it's like the seed that was planted a long time ago is coming to fruition now that's what this is could have something to do with somebody's inappropriate behavior. There has been stagnation. There's been some sort of blockage. There's been denial. Somebody's been held back. There's something that is being exposed as well. For some, there could be some crime that is being exposed. Somebody could be going somewhere without thinking. They could get themselves into trouble. I just feel that. You don't know your value. There's some sort of assistance here. Somebody is being assisted from above. We have an individual here that is that is that has no moral conscience. That's what this is. What is this Knight of Swords reversed? The world, the end, major completion of a cycle. I wonder if somebody is doing something. I even could be against the law. I mean, the Knight of Swords reverse is an individual that leads others into danger. This is somebody that is obnoxious, that is care for, careless, you know, doesn't care, doesn't care who they hurt. 
We may have somebody here that's fighting. This could be war. This could be a battle. This is somebody that really doesn't care who they hurt. It's coming to an end. This world, this is the end. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a cycle. Somebody's stepping into a new experience, taking a big risk. Somebody's put definitely, this is like a major completion. This is it. It's over. This whole thing is over. It's done. Maybe this is just acceptance. We definitely have a liar here. We have a liar. We may have a cheater. We have somebody here that does not care who they hurt. Whoever this person is that is out of control, this is out of control energy. It is. Whoever this person is that is out of control, there's been no consequences. I feel like there's some sort of consequences here. This is it. It's over. It's over. Ace of Swords reversed. Ace of Swords reversed is refusing to take a new approach, not waking up. Um, dishonesty. We have dishonesty twice. The Knight of Swords reversed is dishonesty as well. Not telling the truth. Lack of clarity. But something is going to be happening suddenly. This is a shock as well. There could be a sudden departure here. This the Knight of Swords reversed can be a quick exit. This is it. It's over. There's a lack of clarity. There could be something that is coming to an end. It comes to an end extremely fast. Extremely. The Ace of Swords reversed is... It's a lack of clarity. It's not telling the truth. Not being honest. Somebody, and there's, there's definitely some dishonesty here. You may need to, uh, it feels like you need to stop looking back at something. Here we have looking back. Here we have looking back. Stop looking back. Stop looking back. It's time to focus on the future. It's time for a new life. It's time to take a new approach. It feels like you have this idea. You have this thought, but you're really confused about it. You're wishy-washy. You're going back. I think it's hard to leave the past behind. And I think you're at a position now where maybe you find yourself at a place. You get some sort of offer or opportunity to go and you're going back and forth with it. I guess what I got to say is, yes, that cycle, that old cycle of your life is over. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, go for it. I feel like I feel like you do need to go for. It. I feel like we have somebody there's a going to be a major change and I feel like this is going to this could even be a change in your living situation. Um it could be a change in your relationship status. It could be a relationship in your job, in your position at work as well. I feel like you do have something new here. I think it's very very exciting. I feel like you have some sort of skill you know that can help others as well because of that be of service. I think that you have um I think you're highly intuitive for one thing. I feel like you have something that you're passionate about that is really calling your name. I feel like the, there's angels, there's an angel around, or I do feel like it's an angel or universal guidance. I really feel like it's an angel. And I think it's a fire sign, somebody that was a fire sign that is guiding you to stop looking back. It's guiding you to start a new journey is because that's what the world card is. You know, I think it, they're guiding you to be open minded. They're guiding you to listen to your gut. They're guiding you to, to, you know, embark on this new adventure that you're thinking about. I think that you've been thinking about it. And I feel like there's some sort of fear or indecision that has been holding you back or just lack of clarity. You know, you may even have some anger in there that, it, you know, and I just because of this Knight of Swords reverse, or maybe you're just worried about what, you know, hurting everybody else. But what about you? What about you? You matter, too. We did have that Aries energy now, didn't we? So we have the emperor on the bottom. Somebody, there could be a major completion. You know, this this could be with, with some a boss, a father, a husband, a masculine energy in your life. Okay, there could be a masculine that is entering your life. Okay, this is somebody that is a protector, is a provider, or this is somebody that you've been dealing with. The emperor is somebody that is very authoritative, very. Um, Structured, stable, hardworking, highly respected. 
I mean, this is somebody that has earned their title, typically an older man. This is somebody that, and this could be somebody that's guiding you, I'm not sure, but this is somebody that is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. Now, that could be you as well. I mean, this is a masculine energy, but this is somebody, male or female, this is somebody that is taking charge, that is getting organized, that is doing something to bring structure to their lives. So somebody is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. It does involve stability and structure and security. Now the emperor is a boss, a judge, a ruler, a king. Um, whoever this person is, this person is, is, is the master, okay? This person is the one that makes the decisions that is best for everybody involved. So there is somebody that is making a very big choice, a very big decision, and it certainly could be you. This may affect many people, okay? It may, may, it may affect many, many people because the emperor is in that position to make the decision that affects many, many, many people. There could be a sudden departure here. This could be the end of a cycle with somebody in your life. You could be completely shocked because whenever you get the Knight of Swords reversed, this could be a shock. Something could be happening that completely shocks you. And you may not be comfortable with it. And I feel like that's what this is. I'm not comfortable with this. This could be sudden change. This is very sudden, and this is something happening, you know, that is out of your control. We do have the end of a cycle here where there has been infatuation and obsession. So that's good. Maybe we have somebody here that was trying to accomplish something. Maybe they had a lesson to learn. You know, I think there was a lesson that needed to be learned. I feel like that lesson is over. It's time to take a new approach. This new approach is going to require you more than anything to allow things to happen. There definitely could be some travel here. Okay, we have vacation. This could be a change of residence as well. Um, stepping into a new experience. It could be a change in your living situation. For some of you, you may just have to uh, focus on yourselves. I don't know why that wants to come out. I think that you are being divinely guided to, I want to say, listen to your gut. I want to say, listen, control yourself. Um, Stop looking back at something. There's nothing to prove as well. There's nothing to prove. I don't know where that's coming from. There's nothing left to prove here. Archangel Michael. I stand for justice. That's you, huh? I stand for justice and truth. I live for my integrity. I stand for justice and truth. And this is, and, but it's interesting because this one's reversed. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth or accepting the truth. Maybe we have a realignment here. This is not telling the truth. Seven of swords reversed. This is not telling the truth. This is not telling the truth either. Or not accepting the truth. In denial about the truth. That's the two of swords reversed. There's something here that I think that you've been in denial about. Not maybe not wanting to be held accountable for it or not wanting to accept it, something that's over. I stand for justice and truth. I live for my integrity, which I know that you do. Maybe this is a reminder. The law could be getting involved, and I don't know if there's karma here or universal law, there's, because this can be the authorities. Then we have justice here. There, there's some, there could definitely be some legal matters that are popping up. I mean, this could be a judge. I'm not sure. 
could also be somebody that is in a position of authority that is making a decision to do something and it's out of your control. Anyhow, what do we got for Libra? Do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. You are going to be challenged. This has to do with the truth. It does. This is about truth. This is about truth. This is about truth. This is the end of a cycle of infatuation and obsession. The guardian angel of spiritual growth. The way I become spiritual is simply to become myself. So you are going through a period of spiritual growth. And this is spiritual growth. This is lack of clarity. This is denial. Exhausted, fed up. Restless energy. A need to take action. There is angels here that are guiding you to end a cycle in your life. You need to stop looking back. And the only way to stop looking back is to be completely honest with yourself. I feel like you're going through a period of spiritual growth and I feel like you're going through a, spirit, uh, a period of spiritual realignment. This is, this is about doing the right thing for yourself, for you. I wonder if somebody's been cheating. They've been lying. I mean, the Seven of Swords, it says unstable effort on the card, but the Seven of Swords is a liar, is a thief, is somebody that manipulates. It's, it's somebody that will do whatever they've got to do to get what they want. They don't care who they hurt. Next to it, the, the Knight of Swords reversed. I mean, that is somebody that is abusive. That is a bully. That is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt either. Okay, this is out of control energy. The law could certainly be getting involved in the near future. I feel like we have somebody here that has been repeating cycles. I think that the cycle is coming to an end. I think the truth is coming out. The, the truth has not come out or the truth is being accepted. The truth is being realized. This is, this is something happening very suddenly. This is a shock. This is sudden. I feel like you need to open up to new experiences and I feel like during this time there could be a meeting you know with somebody that can help you and I feel like this is this is an opportunity to move you forward in a direction that you have been reluctant to go in I feel like you've been opposing it opposing it opposing it opposing it But there's definitely some sort of div divine assistance here that is saying, you know, it's time for you to focus on you. It's time for you to heal. It's time for you to start new things. It's time for you to take a new approach. Stop ignoring it. Stop ignoring the truth. Stop ignoring yourself. Anyhow, Libra, I feel like this week, I feel like you could be, you could experience something that, I mean, you get the Knight of Swords reversed. That is uncontrollable energy. This is like dangerous. It could be a dangerous situation. I'm just saying. I mean, the Knight of Swords reversed is, is, is out of control. Okay. That is somebody that is, doesn't think before they act and they may get themselves in trouble. There could be a quick exit here. There could be a sudden ending. Just saying.
There could be somebody coming in that is up to no good as well. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. I mean, that Knight of Swords reverse is somebody that is extremely aggressive, out of control, uh, abusive. This is a bully. This is somebody that really doesn't care who they hurt. They're on a mission. They're not logical. They, they've got so much energy inside. They're just, they can't, it's out of control energy. Somebody could get shut down really fast. This is shut down really, really, really fast. Don't relinquish your power. You're going to need to control yourself. Something is going to happen where you need to control yourself. That's for damn sure. Good luck.